While Operation Border Health Preparedness is underway, offering free health care services to people across the valley. Our very own Janelle Tanguma visited one of the locations in Raymondville today and gives us a look at some of the services that are being offered to residents. Hey, Janelle. Hey, Sonia. Operation Border Health brings free health care to South Texas, offering more than just checkups. Every year, thousands of patients get seen and over 20, 25,000 services are provided. Medical exams, immunizations, and diabetes screenings are just some of the services that are free to the public during Operation Border Health. Volunteer doctors and medical examiners from local health departments, the state, and military provide care at several locations across the valley. We have more than 100 guardsmen deployed for Operation Border Health Preparedness to provide medical services and support so that we can take care of the communities. Operation Border Health has been helping Valley residents for 25 years, and recently, veterinary services have been offered to a South Texas county that needs it most. Raymondville, as we've talked about, has no veterinarian in, in the city or in the county. The last person that was here retired, and, and you've not been able to recruit another one. We hope, we hope someday that you do. Community members in Willisee County say it's a huge help when it comes to preventative care for their pets. So these people have to travel a little ways just to get to a vet, so to have a service like this is, is actually great, especially with the large amount of dogs we have in this area. So and then I was just speaking with them, and they're going to start trying to do the spay and neutering, which is very needed in this area. So to come and get your dog checked and get all the health problems taken care of for free, you can't beat it. Officials with Operation Border Health say dental services, diabetes screenings, and sport physicals are among some of their most sought after exams. Well, it's not unusual for us to see people, this is the only time that they see a provider or a doctor is when they come to uh, this, this setting. And so uh, I had one this morning actually that said, you know, we saw you last year. We were here, we, we remember you. And that was exciting to see that we can have that input on uh, potentially improving their health. Mm -hmm. The last day of Operation Border Health is this Friday, and you can see a full list of locations by visiting valleycentral.com. Live in the Harlingen Newsroom, I'm Janelle Danguma.